Hi everyone, it's me, Maria. I am doing this video um, as a request. Someone requested that I do some with some certain stamping plates. Um, so this is the first that will be a series of request videos. And this is stamping plate M73. And this time we're going to be using the sheet music here. And I'm going to show you how to erase and create um, the patterns and things that you want with these plates without having to use the entire um, design on the sheet. And you will need, of course, a clean scraper, a clean stamper. As usual, um, you need um, gauze or cotton. I would say as low a lint cotton as you can possibly find. Um, and one to dry with. So one with remover and one to dry with. And of course our little magic erasers and this is dipped in remover and then the other side is dry. Today I'm going to go ahead and use the special polish. Now you can use um, thicker white polishes, regular polish. Um, if you have access to Sally Hansen's Extreme, um, the white on white is one of the best ones to stamp with. And also just for fun, we're going to throw in a little <clears throat> China Glaze um, fairy dust and it's sort of a holographic, slightly rainbow. Um, color and for those of you who don't know this is on a discontinued a French this. on three nails and a solid black on two which is the ring and thumb and I, you notice I did this with an extreme smile line and what that means is it's a French but the smile line comes down super low um, almost to the center of your nail and what I used and what I used for this was black expression by finger paints and I use different black polishes um, in my art so that each of you will have maybe an opportunity to find one that looks similar to what I use in your area um, so I have several favorite ones so I use them um, I vary in using them now we're gonna use this but we're not gonna use the keypad um, the little piano keypad so I'll show you how to take that off correctly as well. So you want to let this dry completely. Um, and we're going to be using the fairy dust as a top. So it's going to go over your music notes. So you're going to take some white. And if you're using special polish, I suggest that you stir around in the bottle. It's the best way to get more out. and you're going to apply a thick coat across the design scrape firmly across and this didn't pick up on the bottom but that's okay because I'm going to remove that anyway and I'm going to take this and I'm going to run it from side to side across the black. Now it is going to come over as you can see here it's going to come over your line a bit. You're going to take your q-tip with the remover and you're going to gently sloth away what is on the pink part of your nail. So what will happen is it will only be on the tip. If you can see there it's only on the tip of the nail <clears throat> and using this um, Q-tip as a little eraser is an excellent way to also still use portions of your design even if it doesn't pick up completely. So sometimes you may find that you can actually use that and you'll come up with designs um, by mistake sometimes by correcting them with the little eraser. We're going to repeat this process. And I wanted to show you again. And see, I want to remove the bottom row. Make sure that's dry. And you want to do this um, as quickly as possible. Because, especially with stamping polish, um, it'll do this. 
and I'm going to show you how easy it is to remove this. If you allow your polish to dry completely, you can take this and just like we removed it here, take a moderately wet Q-tip with the remover and just gently roll. Don't rub it. You want to kind of rub and roll at the same time. And you can actually erase your mistake like this. And for those of you who find that you have a lot more error and you're doing this often enough that you're kind of taking a lot of polish off, you can put a thin layer of top coat as a barrier. Um, it is an extra layer to dry, but it's perfectly fine because it protects your polish and you see I've taken that completely off so it's it's good to see you know that this happens and and it's actually really easy to correct so for those of you who are struggling with your stamping plates just keep in mind if you do these things this way and you're working slower um, you can correct it so we're going to do this again and whenever you do that with a nail, go to the next nail and then go back to the one you've erased on just because it will still be a little bit a little bit tacky and wet um, from the remover. So you want to give it just a, a few seconds to dry before you do it again. So you just go to your next nail. Um, if it's the only nail that you're doing at the time or it's the last one, just wait a few minutes or a few, even just a minute. Um, and see, we've gone to the next one. And also remember, I'm going to repeat this in every video. So for those of you who watch a lot, I'm sorry um, <clears throat> for repeating so much. But um, keeping your plate and your blades and your scraper blades and your stamping pads clean is critical to the success of your stamping. So if you want these to work... Um, that is the best way to do it, is to keep them clean. And that one came out perfect. So we just want to clean our smile line, which is the edge between your nail and the French tip color. So you can see there we have three nails with music notes only on the black. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. Um, a lot of you have asked how are you covering um, the nail where <clears throat> it's a larger nail and the stamp doesn't fit. There's a few ways you can do it. You can layer an overlap which is an intentional overlapping of a missing print. So if you have open space you're kind of overlapping it or angling it on purpose or you can do them sideways. It depends on the pattern and really just depends on the look you're going for. But I have found that intentional side angling or overlapping is the best way to do it. Now with the music notes, it's a little trickier because it's sheet music. So what I'm doing is I am going to run it across, straight across like this and then I am going to take another one and run it across this edge here and just kind of meet make it meet up sort of across the middle and it's okay if they're um, if they curve a little and things like that it's music notes so if they don't run in a straight line and you really are frustrated with that and don't want to have to redo it, um, you'll find too that intentionally angling the rest of them will give you kind of a match. Um, you may want to give it kind of a mosaic look where you kind of bring pieces of your stamp off the sides or you run them into a different area. You can also press and pull away and make it fit the edges and you just kind of press it on and pull away 
and what it'll do is fill in. Now with vines and angular lines, this works better than with very, very straight lines. If you do this with very, very straight lines, you need to have very, very straight lines. So when you're doing it, you're gonna wanna really pay attention to where you're putting the stamp. Edge area in the cuticle. You wanna press it down a little bit with your finger before you clean your cuticle because if you don't, you're going to probably pull it off of your nail. And that's another frustrating, you know, issue with using image plates is sometimes, you know, ruining a perfectly good The stamp. ones that fight with us when we are trying to use them. The big bulky ones are easy. They don't really, um, cause too much drama when you're trying to, to do them. So this is what you'll have at the end. And of course you wanna put two coats of top coat. Now as an option, you can apply a thin coat of fairy dust or your favorite slightly rainbow holographic um, color or top coat that has a clear base. Don't use anything with too much glimmer or it will fill in your lines. So I'm gonna add two, two coats of top coat for you because I know the camera doesn't always do justice um, 